everyone, welcome to Bell's Books. I'm Carly and today I'm not bringing you the video that I promised, I'm bringing you my reaction to the Women's Prize for Fiction long list, which was announced in the week and I was super excited about it. The Women's Prize is um, a prize that I follow quite closely and last year I did um, try and read quite a bit of the long list. So I was eagerly anticipating the announcement of the long list and what I'm going to do today is talk about um, what I'm going to be reading from it. So, <laughs> you know how I said at the beginning of the year, stop being influenced by booktube and just read the books that you need to read. And then obviously I've broken that rule already. But to be fair, some of the books on the long list were all already on my TBR. So I'm going to talk about the books that I am going to read from the long list. I've got my um, my bullet journal here, so I've written them all down. And the ones that I will read if they are shortlisted and uh, <laughs> the ones that I'm not bothered about reading. OK, so out of the 16 books on the long list, the only one I've read, only one, is Summer by Ali Smith. I have read this already and I'm currently rereading it for the seasonal quartet read along hosted by Sarah at Hardcover Hearts, which is lovely and amazing. Obviously, this book is close to my heart because I'm studying it for my PhD, as I've mentioned before. I would be very happy if this won because I love it. I love the whole quartet and I think it's fantastic. So, you know. My money's on that one, but there you go. She's won it before, so it, I know it'll probably go to an author that hasn't won before. So that is the one and only book that I've already read. Um, and I'm currently rereading. There are one, two, three, four, six books on the long list that were already on my TBR. They are The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I bought this like as soon as it came out and all that hype was going around booktube about it. I'm definitely going to read this straight away still haven't read it so this is high on my list i'm definitely going to read this um it's also uh, a book club choice for a local book club that i want to participate in and um so other books that were on my tbr i'll put i don't have them so i'll put pictures up and i'll try and remember to actually put the picture in here <laughs> next time the other books on my tbr were piranesi by susanna clark Put the picture in Carly, editing Carly here. Um, this it sounds weird and all I've heard about it, because the synopsis doesn't really give you any information about what the book is about. It just sounds like a weird book. But then I heard Lauren at Lauren and the Books talking about how she loved it. And weird books are my jam anyway, so I'm thinking I will probably enjoy it very much. Um, it sounds like it's about a dude in a house that he's alone and he's documenting or cataloguing stuff in the house and then there's a visitor that's all I know it sounds weird I think I'll dig it so I'm hoping as well that I will get that for my birthday which is at the end of the month I have put all of the books from the women's prize long list that I want to read on my wish list so I'm hoping my family will buy me some of those books for my birthday Piranesi is one of them Okay, then I would like to read Luster uh, by Raven Lelani. I have got that on order at my library, so I've put a reserve on that. The thing is, though, what I was doing, I had the Women's Prize Longlist announcement going on one tab on my PC, and on the other tab, I had the library catalogue. As soon as the book was announced, I was there. Quick, look it up on the, on the library catalogue. Reserve, reserve, reserve. Um... So I've put a bunch of reserves on, but <laughs> it seems that the library has only got one copy or maybe two copies of these books. And of course, the reserves have now shot through the roof. So on some of them, I'm like nine in the queue. So I'm not sure when I'll actually get them um, from the library. So that will uh, be interesting. Luster, hopefully I will get soon from the library. This sounds like... I really like the um, the premise of this and it sounds a bit like Queenie to me. So it's a contemporary uh, women's book about this woman Queenie who is um, 
I think I think also she works in publishing like Queenie did she works in publishing she embarks on an affair with an, with a married man and then gets entangled with his family also his wife and his daughter as well so that sounds really interesting definitely want to read that also heard loads of good stuff about it um, particularly from the girls in my writing group um oh that reminds me i've got my writing group this week don't get distracted focus uh next on my to br is unsettled ground by claire fuller um and when i saw that because i follow claire fuller on instagram and when i saw that she got a new book about a book out i was very excited about this because i've only read one of her books before i've read our endless numbers day endless numbered days which i i liked very much um it shocked me a lot because there was a big twist at the end and i was not prepared for that and <laughs> felt a bit uh bereft when it finished i was like what just happened um so i'm very excited about this new book from claire fuller from what i understand it is about two sisters who are like in their 50s and they've lived with their mum their whole life in this very secluded ha um area this this house that's just them and their mum their mum dies and then they have to kind of fend for themselves so it's about them doing that and something to do with their mum's life like a secret coming out um and i know that it's bound to be like a, probably again quite shocking because it's claire fuller so i'm here for that um and also i love books about twins i don't know whether i don't know whether these this vanishing half is about twins or sisters there's lots of books on the long list that are about sisters and twins so that one very much looking forward to have ordered that from my library see how long it takes me to get that one then burnt sugar by avni doshi again i've had my eye on this because it was listed for was it what prize was it the booker long listed last year um so i have reserved that from the library it is about a mother daughter relationship where the daughter has to care for the mother as she i think she has alzheimer's or she's got something um wrong with her that means her mind is going and there's a resentment there because her mother didn't look after her properly when she was a child. So it's about that very kind of difficult relationship and the, and the tension in that relationship. So again, heard lots of good things about that. Looking forward to reading that. Um, and then what else? Oh, and the last one that was already on my TBR was Transcendent Kingdom by Yar Jassy. Um, I haven't got a copy. I don't even know if i think i've reserved it because that is one that i am hoping i will get for my birthday it's on my wish list i have home going i haven't read it but i've heard lots of good things about it and transcendent kingdom so really want to get to that and from what i've heard it is about um a woman studying for her phd uh and navigating between like there's uh, something to do with like the balance of science and religion and how she deals with that um it's like studying for her phd which i guess is science-based and dealing with her faith oh my god the squirrels are going nuts sorry i get distracted because my I, i'm looking out this window looks out onto a tree and the squirrels just go crazy and it's picked particularly at the moment they are chasing each other all the time the other day they fell out right so they were really high chasing each other like absolute loons up at the top of this tree and they both fell from quite a height and i was there going oh my god they're gonna die they hit the floor were stunned for a minute and then they just carried on fighting i was like guys what are you actually doing anyway it's like eastenders in this tree it's like animal eastenders sorry about that getting sidetracked next so those were the books that i already had on my tbr that i am definitely going to read the ones that were in the long list that i had kind of heard of or maybe wasn't too sure whether i was going to read that i now i'm definitely going to read are small pleasures by claire chambers and the more i hear about this the more i want to read it it's um it is about a woman who is, I think she's a journalist and she's investigating a claim about a, a woman who has apparently had an immaculate conception. Um, and that just sounds fascinating to me. It's set in the 1950s. The cover is beautiful. 
editing card and remember to put the picture in here. Uh, the cover is beautiful and uh, it just sounds like right up my street. So that I'm hoping to get for my birthday. <laughs> I'm wondering if my family might watch this video. Um, please family, buy me these books for my birthday. What else? Uh, Nothing But Blue Sky by Catherine... Oh, I've written this down now, I can't read my own writing. Mum, <laughs> I should have looked this up. It's a Mac, is it a Mac or Mahon? I don't know, I'm sorry, that's terrible. Terrible behaviour on my part. But I had not heard of this book at all before the long list. Um, and I googled it and I thought, actually, that sounds like something I would like to read. And now I've completely forgotten what it's about. Cannot remember for the life of me. Oh, yes, I do. It's about, oh, I think it's about a husband mourning the loss of his wife and realising maybe he didn't know her as well as he thought he did. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Yes, it is. And that sounds intriguing to me. So I would like to read that one as well. Put that on my wish list. Uh, and oh, one I do actually have, Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan. I have this because it was in my local very large supermarket. I mean, I know I shouldn't really buy from the very large supermarkets because the books are cheap, but it was there and I'm like, I definitely do want to read this. So I'm going to pick it up. That looks really weird. Isn't that like it's something wrong with my camera? I don't know. Everything looks fuzzy. So this is, uh, sounds a bit Sally Rooney. It's about a woman that uh, moves to Japan, I think, and uh, in Hong Kong. And then she embarks on a relationship with, I think it's a married dude and another woman. And it's just about their relationship as their relationships as a triangle, as far as I can make out. But I like the sound of it. I'm here for it. I've heard lots of good things about it. It's also an Irish writer and it's uh, currently the Irish readathon, so might start this this month. Okay, what else? Whew. Um no one is talking about this by Patricia Lockwood. I had an email from it was either the publisher or Waterstones or something and this came up and I thought, "Oh, that looks interesting. Also the cover is beautiful." Um this is a novel uh about social media and the way that we uh, live our lives on social media and I think it's about this woman who is very present on social media and what that means for her and and also how she conducts herself in real life um so very current very topical and it just it sounded like oh actually I think I could I could be interested in this I'm going to pick this up and put it on my wish list and then probably forgot about it. So this <laughs> being on the long list has made me go, oh yeah, actually I do want to read this. Um, what else? So those are all the books that I am definitely going to read from the long list. Now, the ones that I was not that bothered about um, when I heard about them, also like some of them I hadn't heard of before. So the ones I'd not heard of, are How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House by Sherry Jones, um, Because of You by Dawn French, Consent by Annabelle Leon, and The Golden Rule by Amanda Craig. Now, when I looked at those books and I thought, mm, I'm not that bothered about reading those. I'm not going to read the whole long list if I'm not interested in, in the books. So... I have thought I had put like a caveat and maybe I will read these if they get shortlisted. The ones I'm just not going to read at all is The Golden Rule by Amanda Craig because I heard from Sophie over at Portal of the Pages that she has said some transphobic stuff which um, just discounts it so I'm not going to read her book. Um, the ones that I will read if they are shortlisted are Consent by Annabelle Leon which I think is also about... The, uh, two sisters again more, more sister vibes um or it might be uh two pairs of sisters if i'm remembering that right um and i think it deals with a traumatic experience uh, i don't know much other than that but i could potentially read that if it gets shortlisted i'm really not interested in the dawn french i know that's bad like 
I think it's about motherhood. So two women um, go into hospital and they are pregnant and I think one comes out with a baby and the other one doesn't. That's that's what I've heard. Um, I'm just I'm just not I'm not feeling it. I'm just not interested in it, so I'm not going to read it. Uh, and then how the one armed sister sweeps her house. I, again, I knew nothing about. I've just looked up the synopsis and actually um, on Goodreads it says it's uh, in the vibe of Zadie Smith. Um, it's Caribbean writer, um, just about from what I can get, gather this group of people in this Caribbean island. So actually that, that one might be a goer. I might pick that one up. Um, but from what I think I heard from Simon over at Savage Reads that it was a bit, um, harsh, like a bit traumatic, a bit intense. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I may pick that up. And the other one that I will pick up if it is shortlisted is Detransition Baby by Tori Peters. And this is about, and I've heard, I heard about this from Sarah over at Hardcover Hearts because she was reading it. Um, and it, it sounded a bit kind of controversial because it's about a trans woman that then detransitions back to being a man, has a relationship with, I think it's their boss, and then gets their boss pregnant. And then dealing with that, family dynamic so it sounds again a bit intense but if it's shortlisted I will read it okay so <laughs> those are all of the books on the women's prize long list I've got 10 to read one I've only well I've only read one of them and two that I'm definitely not reading three that I will read if they are shortlisted okay that's the women's prize long list that's my reaction um very excited for it excited to hear about new books that i had not come across before including how the one on sister sweeps her house and what was the other one something about blue sky that i've promptly forgotten oh and no one is talking about this by patricia lockwood nothing but blue sky yeah exciting exciting talk to me in the comments below are you going to be reading the women's prize long list or are you doing what i'm doing pick and choose which ones you would like to read <laughs> um like I said, it's a prize I'm always really interested in. So talk to me if you are interested in it and if you have read any of these and if you have recommendations on the order that I should read them in. Like which ones do you think are really great and that I should definitely, definitely read. Change my mind if I've said I'm not going to read one and you think I should. Apart from the Amanda Craig, definitely not reading that. Okay, I will speak to you very soon in another video. Hope you're all okay. Goodbye.